Good morning, cyberpunkers. It's your terribly good friend, Vincent, and his friend, Jonathan Silverhands, and his friend, me. So today, uh, we're going to start with a little Ripper Doctory. Not only have we not been to a Ripper Doctory for a long time, and I think I've probably picked up a lot of capacity shards since then, but I've done a bit more playing in between episodes. Is this, Have I come to the right place? This is Vix, right? No, this isn't bloody Vix. Where the hell is this? Wait, is this Vix? Oh. Yes, this is Vix. Okay, sorry. I was very confused for a second. I've never come in this way before. Um, well, I thought we'd come to a Ripper Docks. Not only, have, uh, of course, did we do all this stuff yesterday and pick up a bunch of shit, but apparently the NCPD scanner kind of after missions that I left, I just went and sweeped up because all they were were going to a location and opening a box and looting a thing. That was every single one of them, and they were all tracked in our journal as separate different missions, so I thought, sod this, I'll just clean it up. There is one called see what's, see, see what's Inside Marvin's Car. We can see there's a dead guy with a car somewhere in town, a car full of Eddies. I don't know where that is. I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know where we've got to go for that. Apparently... When I open the map, it does point us somewhere. So I wonder if there is some, something we can do with that. Either way, forget it. Let's not, maybe I blew the car up. Who knows? Um, we, we won't worry about that for now. I want to do some of these side quests. Actually, what I want to do is the Delamain stuff. Because people were saying that the Delamain stuff is, is pretty good. I just got a crap one, right? Typical. Anyway, uh, replace my... No, 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 let's not replace the implants yet. Because we did all that stuff yesterday, and um, because I've done a little bit more stuff in between episodes, not only have we got another technical point to spend, or another point to spend in technical, I should say. Do we want to... Uh, I just want to remember this one. Unlock cellular adapter cyberware for the integumentary system. Integumentary... Integumentary, I presume. Um, and there's also the other one as well. Uh... Cyberware effects, lots of new cyberware slot for the skeleton, that's right. All cyberware skeleton slots have boosted stats, so we should probably take a look at that too. Anyway, um, yeah, let's have a chat with Vic then and see what we can, see we can get going. Because I'm sure between what we did yesterday and the stuff have I did look. before yesterday's episode and the stuff I've done before today's episode, we got 720,000 eddies. Oh my god, look at this. We've got 12, uh, sorry, 127 out of 204 of our cyberware capacity. That's kind of nuts. Oh my god, and we can upgrade all of our cyber things to uh, the very highest, coolest levels. Okay then, hold on. Maybe we'll take this slowly, and uh, if you want to skip through it, I'll bookmark it. And you can skip over the bizarrely cyberpunk part of cyberpunk, if that's the type of thing that takes you fancy. Apparently we can get this high tier stuff though. So, um, memory boost gives max RAM... Which is all about like quick hacking and shit, right? That's quick hacking. There's quick hack still critical hits, max RAM. Cooldown for all cyberware after neutralizing an enemy. Hello. Ooh, and then it's also technical attuned. 0.5 armor per attribute point. Oh shit. I might take that one. That one's RAM. Um improves Karenzikov. Karenzikov is uh the shooting one, right? Mechatronic Core gives RAM and Technical Attune gives damage against robots, which, to be fair, is better than nothing. Automatic... Okay, so hear me out here. Why don't we upgrade this one, if we can. Mechatronic Core, there we are. 35% against damage against robots and blah, 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 and blah. Yeah, let's buy that. Let's also go for that one. Newton Module. 1.25% cooldown instantly for all cyber after neutralizing an enemy. That seems good. What else you got here? Self-Ice. Automatically indicates a quick hack from an enemy. That sounds great. That sounds really, really useful. Am I going to upgrade that to uh, tier 5 plus? No, I am not. Operating system. I will admit, I don't use the Berserk nearly as much as I should. So that's totally on me. Um, what is this one? Warp Dancer San Devastan. Ooh, so it's time by 20%. I feel like I should maybe go back to the San Devastan. I, I feel like I didn't use it enough to make a good enough assessment of it. What is this one? So it's time by 50%. Ooh... Shit. <laughs> that one gives a lot of mitigation. We've already got a lot of mitigation, to be fair. That other one gives crit chance. This one gives damage. Um, oh, while in midair. Oh, uh, okay. So you slow time massively while you're falling and do like a lot of a lot of quick shooting, that type of thing. Honestly, let's go for... Um, can you use items? Melee weapons only. 20% attack speed. Minus 100% stamina cost. That's mean dodge around quite a lot and we lose a lot of fall damage. Press Q in midair with a blunt weapon to slam the ground with a superhero landing. So we press E to activate them. We press Q after that. Sure, let's go for the Zeta Tech Berserk then, huh? What is this one, though? More Tech Berserk. Um, 
25% health for each enemy neutralized. That's the same. I need to be... I, I really can't process this trying to go between them like this. What I need to see is... Sorry, let's throw that one in. What I need to see is like a spreadsheet comparing them all. Because I just can't remember all these numbers. Optics. Okay. So we've got those oracle optics which highlights everything while we're scanning. Which I think is really, really useful. Gives a load of uh, health benefits. Well, that highlights some blah, blah, blah. A lot of these are obviously just good with guns. Which aren't super relevant. I'm going to go for the... Uh, Oracle optics again. Just get those upgraded. Very good. Hands. I mean, unless you've got anything good. Crit damage with smart weapons. Reloading an empty weapon causes an electroshock. Ricochet chance with power weapons. Reloading an empty weapon. Minus 20% recoil. And plus 23 crit chance with throwable weapons. Honestly, let's throw in the... The smart link one. Presuming we've got the overhead for it, we could throw that in because that's one that we, like we've actually picked up that that silly what's called Sparky or something like that. You know the weird weapon that talks nonsense. Toxic gorilla arms. Oh, toxic gorilla arms. Or do we stick with the regular gorilla arms? Somebody to point out. Surely, if you go toxic gorilla arms, you deal poison damage to them. Well, to be fair, the regular gorilla arms are supposed to do bleeding damage. That one is cool attuned. That one's body attuned. Honestly, I'm just going to go with the regular Gorilla Arms again. Let's just go for the straight upgrade. And then maybe we'll upgrade it to tier 5 plus. Does it go higher than that? Who the hell knows? Skellington. Um, right. There's a lot going on here. Ram recoup. Don't need that one. Epi e epimorphic skeleton. Oh my god. Look at the armor it gives. It's 32 though. Because we're placing all of our skeleton with bones. With, with metal bones. <laughs> replacing our skeleton with bones would be handy. Jesus, that was almost all of our cyberware capacity gone. That's amazing. Scarab gives 110 armor when crouched. Oh, that's not very useful. Dense Marrow. I mean, I've got to upgrade that one, right? Scar Coalesce when below 50% health. Spring Joints gives a lot of mitigation. Ooh. Total mitigation strength cannot exceed 60%. Is there a way to see... Oh, sorry, 90%. Is there a way to see what we've got? Because we've already got quite a lot of stuff with mitigation. I'm definitely going to upgrade that one. The titanium bones just makes a lot of sense. Kinetic frame mitigation chances when we've got high stamina, which we won't have because I'm dashing around everywhere. What do you think? Dense Mara gives 24% melee damage, and it's um, it's what we've got already. I'm going to go for it. Okay. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. Nervous system. Well, um, I don't really know that I need much here. What have we got? Atomic sense, increasing movement speed proportional to enemies. Yeah, I remember that. Let's, let's go ahead and upgrade this one, because this one gives movement speed when entering combat, which is great. We barely, barely have enough. We barely have enough to fill this with blades and throwable weapons. Let's do aim and perform ranged attacks while dodging. That's he headshot. Slow time for six seconds when your health drops too low. Some of these slow time ones could be good. I'd like to take this one. Neo Fiber. Gives extra mitigation chance again, which I think is pretty bloody useful. Damn. And we've maxed ourselves out again. So I guess I'll just carry on with the um, with the upgrades for the stuff we've already got. Hopefully it doesn't do that bug where we have to unequip and re-equip everything, but maybe they fix that at this point. There you go, let's do that. And then maybe we'll upgrade those gorilla arms, because we do love some gorilla arms. Maybe there's some higher level. What fight ankles, links, pause, reinforce, tendons. Nah, I think I'm still good with the double jump. What was that one? That one's charge jump. That one's quieter movement. That one's increases sprint speed with Jenkins tendons. Which to be fair, if I didn't enjoy the parkour so much, actually might be far more sensible to go for. Right, legendary micro rotors, if you please. Really interesting to see what our end build is going to look like compared to what we've got going on right now. Nuts is the answer. It's going to be nuts. Oh my god, we're out of eddies. Holy shit, we're out of money. Of all the things I was expecting, that was not it. Shit. Um, why don't we sell some stuff instead of breaking it down for components? Because that's what I've been doing and I feel like I could probably do with a bit more cash at this point. Cheers. Thank you, Vic. Oh, I think I can sell to Vic though, right? Uh, well, it depends. Let's see how close there is to a drop thing, just in case I'm wrong. No, there's one like right here. We'll just, we'll just, just go with this. I'm sure I can sell to Vic, okay? But we'll just, we'll just go ahead and sell this. I think I can sell my old cyberware too, somehow, which would be good because I've got a lot of it. Uh, sell, yes, please. Okay, so we won't sell the uh the iconic stuff. I guess I'll just sell some of this crap though, because I just need the eddies for upgrades. Then, so we won't sell the iconics. I'm not going to break all this crap down. That would take forever. I Nobody's got time for that, okay? And I do need to get these last few upgrades in. One-handed club can go. Katana can go. God damn, look at all these Iconics. I mean, if I'm picking up Iconics this frequently... Sorry, Tier 5s and Iconics. I'm, sh I'm sure we'll be able to get more if I need it. We could probably just farm some up, eh? Um, 
I don't need that. Oh, God, the clothes really don't sell for much, do they? Okay, probably just worth taking those apart. What about, like, the uh, weapon mods? I'm just going to sell them all. Again, I know what you're thinking. You should be breaking them down for components, blah, blah, blah. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we'll be good. I promise you we'll never be in a situation where we don't have enough stuff for upgrading. Okay. Maybe I should sell some stuff out of my, uh, my like, consumables. Because I'm never going to do that. I'll be honest with you. I'm never going to touch those ever. <laughs> sell junk. If I have to read, I'm just not interested. Get rid of that. And then I think we are good. Sell the keys to Jackie's stash. I'm not going to do that. What the hell? Right, let's go back and see Vic then and get the final upgrades in. I've got to figure out how to sell these... How, how to sell this cyberware. I'll have a chat with Vic, see if we can just sell it straight from the... Straight from the backpack. Hello. Uh, was thinking about yeah, about those implants again. Have a look. Thank you, Vic. Okay. Trade. Can I sell you cyberware from here? I can't... Oh, this is just how we sell him stuff. We could have just done this. Bollocks. W is it worth more selling it from here? Oh, no. Hopefully, I didn't just lose a ton of cash. Honestly, it doesn't matter. We can get more cash when we need it. Right. Let's finish off these upgrades then. Um, what is this one? We're going to go for an adrenaline booster. Yes, please. And then, oh, that was 50,000 eddies. Jesus. Heal on kill. It's a club banger. What can I say? Finally, hands. It's the only upgrade left. And none of it interests me. And it's not very good. Thank you. How do I sell my cyberware? Can I just go here and then, like, like, clearly it's worth value. Maybe I have to actually sell it to Vic? Hold on. Was thinking about swapping. Probably should figure this out, yeah, you know, right. episode 20 or whatever. So we just go here and then we say, like, sell with Zed. Oh, my God. Ah. Well, that's very convenient, isn't it? Okay. Let's get these sold then. Oops. My bad. It's okay. I, don't worry. Nothing happened. I just accidentally swapped one for an old one. Then we could just sell it again. Okay, operating system gone. Goodbye, Gorilla Arms. This might bring back a little bit of cash. They're not selling for much. Although I say that, that one was 10,000. Vic's a good lad. He wouldn't rip us off. Quite the opposite. In fact, he'd be far too generous towards us. How much are these? That's like 2,000. Okay, you know what? This is more cash than I expected. It's more cash than... Maybe I didn't have to sell all that stuff, but I probably would have anyway. Sick of dismantling shit. <laughs> Feel like I've been doing it all day. Here, get rid of that. Ugh! What did I just swap? No, 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 no. What did I just do there? I just swapped my good adrenaline converter for a really, really shitty one. There we are. I feel like there should be a better system than this. Because this is quite tedious. I suppose normally you'd probably just, you know, buy a new one and sell your old one instead of saving it all up and selling it all at once like a lunatic. I feel like it makes a lot more sense, but fair enough. Get rid of all this crap. And then we're ready. Sorry, I know this has been like 20 minutes of just pissing around with cyberware, but it, the game is called Cyberpunk, not like, you know, punch people the game. It's not like punch out. Although you could have named it that for this particular playthrough. Okay, then. I think we're all good. I might have not been able to sell when they didn't have the requirements for it. No, we're good. Back up to 270,000 eddies. Very good. Okay, here's what we'll do then. We take the gorilla arms and we say, kapow. Oh. Oh, because of course we got that perk. Oh, cool. Okay. Do I want the one that gives headshot damage? Um, does that work with punching? Maybe. Health regen bonus aim speed. No, thank you. Health melee damage, damage over time resistance. Oh, they're not very good, are they? Fuck, they're not very good. Um, I mean, that's the best of a bad situation. If I cancel and redo it, does it reroll the modifiers? That seems a bit cheap. No, it doesn't. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I mean, that one seems the best. Can we upgrade beyond that? Is there a higher tier? Tier 5 plus plus. Oh my god, we can actually do it. Shit. Um, ricochet damage, damage over time, carry capacity, headshot. Is this one again? Bang. Are those the strongest gorilla arms anyone can get? 173.83 damage per punch. It can't go any higher, surely. Surely not. Thank you, Vic. God damn, what a ripper dock he is. What a ripper dock he is. We've now got the strongest gorilla arms on the whole planet. Um, a shooting competition. Sorry, Wilson, shooting isn't my thing. Sorry, Wilson. Sure, I can respect that, V, but if you change your mind, come by, I'll be here. Thank you. Oh, Judy. Hola. How you doing, V? Find those voodoo boys yet? Not yet. Oh, but you know what? I think the guy, when I was doing some of those NCPD drops, did call me back. But it was in the middle of, like, a, a fight. Um, what about Evelyn? Any improvement? So it was, like, constantly cut off. 
No changes. She's trapped deep in her brain somewhere. Must be going through hell. Sorry, gotta run. Honestly, I just euthanize her at that point. I was like, horrible to keep her alive. To go to Smith has a job for us. Okay, Delamain. Beta acid. Okay, that's the one we did yesterday, I remember. NCPD dispatch. Claire. Uh, hey, it's Claire, bartender at Arthur Life. Bars are buzz about you lately, so I thought looking for a driver street races. Not my sort of thing, sorry. She'll just say, hey, I'll come by anyway if you're interested. Okay. Sometimes I'll pop out. Yeah, okay, so they just don't care anyway. Takamura. Uh, at night, from the den located on the fifth bamboo in the hamlet, the fox goes out to hunt. He quenches his thirst at the watering hole. While waiting for your arrival, he takes shelter in the shade of the cherry blossoms. The fox is cautious. It shall emerge when it's sure that water was not poisoned. Shall I say, fuck off, you creep, or Takamura? I think we're just going to ignore that. Uh, Delamain, you're eligible for compensation. Thank you, Delamain. God, why is Takamura so weird? Oh, there's also a tarot card up here. Now, people were saying, I think I've already talked about this. People were saying, don't worry about the tarot cards and get them when the quests call for it. Have I got to go, like, all the way up there? I might have to take the elevator. You know what? Let's not worry about it right now. Um, we'll just stumble across them naturally as we play. So don't, like, don't specifically go hunting for them or anything like that. So then, where do we want to go? Um... Go to Wilson's shooting range. Wilson, I don't want to go to your fucking shooting range, my friend. Clara, a garage during the day. And then we've got all of this stuff. Oh, hang on. Meredith Stout invited us for... Okay. Hold on, though. <laughs> hold on a second. Let's go see Meredith. Let's go and see Meredith. You know we gotta do it. Come on, now. Let's not, let's not piss around. I've gotta go this direction. Okay, if you insist, I'll trust you here. If you remember, we called her, or she called us, I don't remember, and then we said, Well, well, well. Ooh. Um, we said, uh, something, something, I'd like to meet you, winky face. And now she's like, okay, come meet me at this motel. She's been waiting for days, so she's clearly, uh, interested. I think that's fair to say. She's clearly very interested. For I want him alive! Me? You talking to me? Monkey punch. Yeah, get out of your car. That's what I thought. Oh! Turns out it really hurts when you get run over. Oh, God, we're getting absolutely shredded. Trying to get run over again. Kapow! Okay, problem solved. That was pretty smooth. Good work, V. Well done. Sorry, can I get that without catching fire? This is why I don't... Oh, the police. Fuck. Fuck. Keep running. Run faster. Run faster. This is why I don't mind about the whole, um, taking part, t t selling the stuff. Because we just immediately turned around a corner and got a shitload more. Oh, this is a trap. Oh, God. Either she's going to answer the door in a towel or she's going to answer it with a handgun. I'm not sure which. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. Oh. Um, so what now? <laughs> so what now? Hmm. <sighs> Oh no! Am I allowed to show this on YouTube.com? Oh! Okay, well, I don't know how much of this we can keep in, to be honest with you. I guess I'll just upload it and see if it gets banned or not. This is, um... <laughs> this is one of the most awkward things I've ever watched. What are they up to? Is this just, this just going forever like this? Till next time, then, V. Oh, well, that was good. Not really what I expected, but thank you. What, where did that come from? That was very sudden. Shouldn't even buy him dinner. Rude. Jesus. Okay, well, thank you for that. So anyway, people were saying that apparently the thing we can get from this room in this quest, this thing, I presume... Um, is supposed to be a Saints Row style, uh, big cock that you can beat people with. Here's the thing. This is on YouTube, so I've turned off nudity mode, so it just spawns in an electric baton. And I did mention this earlier, so hopefully this puts everyone's, um, this is the darkest bathroom I've ever seen. Hopefully this puts everyone's, uh, you know, is that the Yowie paddle? What the fuck is that? Um, puts everyone's concern to rest. So there we are. Well, that seemed very sudden and out of nowhere? What the hell? That was very awkward. Not because we're like watching it together on YouTube. I don't give a shit about that. It was just like very awkward what they were doing. 
<laughs> Let's do the same thing three times. Wowie. Look at you go, V. So totally strange. Totally out of nowhere. Hello. How you all doing? Oh, they don't want to fight. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll fight. V's not a cyber psycho, remember? He's just uh, clearly a very inflamed gentleman. Just a very inflamed gentleman. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. That was so bizarre. <laughs> just like totally not set up at all. Jesus Christ. Okay, go to the afterlife. That's actually a main quest. So I might ignore that one for now. Um, happy together. Try talking to Barry. Oh, Barry. Totally forgot about Barry. The guy in the apartment. Right. Okay. Well, let's head up there then and see what he wants. We're actually very, very close. Just around this corner, in fact. Can I, can, do I really have to go all the way around? Appreciate it, brother. Oh, what's happening over there? Well, I'm going to step in. I don't like seeing innocent people get hurt. <laughs> Man, that was so strange. Totally out of left field. Did anybody else get the impression that she was like into V when they first met? Are you good? What? <laughs> Why did he kick his friend? What are you doing? Man, this game's falling apart. What? Oh my god! <laughs> well, turbine crowd. Good there, Gollum? Right, I'm just gonna make sure he's dead, because he seems like he might be haunted. Is this all in V's head? Is he having like a dream or a nightmare? Depending on your opinions of Meredith, Meredith Stout. Was that a name? I don't even know her name. I don't even know her name. That's going to cause trouble, isn't it? It's going to cause some sort of trouble. There's going to be some sort of follow-up to that. There was no setup for it, so there's got to be a follow-up. Give me whatever's in this box. Hello there. Oh, no, look, that, that guy was bugged out, too. He was just kind of leaning. Are you good? No. I mean, clearly not anymore, no. So strange. Right, let's get out of here. Apparently, the police didn't like that. Despite the fact they were clearly, like, in a gang and very threatening. I suppose that doesn't give you a mean to... <laughs> to kill someone dead. No, oh, I'll put that away. Shit. Hey, here's the problem I've realized with having my dash bound to middle mouse button. Occasionally, I will accidentally scroll to a different weapon. Crime crime reported authorization required. Oh, are you joking? Okay. Well, let's stand here a minute. There you go. We're all good. Thank you. What a fancy elevator. Now if you've committed a damn crime. I genuinely thought we were going to go see Meredith Stout and then she was going to be like, I've got another job for you, V. Not like, you know, I've got another job for you, V, and then unzips trousers. I've got a job for you. You've got a job for me? Uh, okay, you know where I'm going with it. When injected into the spinal cord, oh, what were they saying? Long term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. Oh, the hey, it's Cynthia. Cynthia. Who's Cynthia? Oh, hi, it's, uh, oh Pepe's wife. Cynthia, Pepe's wife? I remember. Remember me? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I do. I don't know what you told him, but thanks. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Hey, I'm glad. No problem at all. Can I fight this robot again? How are you doing? Uh,. What have you got for sale? Actually, I'm kind of curious. What do you have for sale? It's just a crafting spec for a baseball bat, so I can make my own. Okay. Tier 5 baseball bats. Sure. We could try out some melee weapons at some point, I suppose, but I'm not really that bothered. Hey, hey, what I want to do is go back to V stash, because people were saying something like iconic weapons have a, a place that they're stored, right? That's what all the gaps in the, in the wall are for. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. Ah, oh. I remember. What do you want? How you doing, Barry? Uh... People like us have to get used to loss. I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. 
It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. Enjoying the weather? Everything you too. Yeah. Come in. Uh, I was going to say Jackie, but actually in hindsight, everyone I know... Oh, this is nice. you got a nice place going on here, huh? God damn, big open floor area, lots of pizza. We'll I lost someone close to me too, a damn good friend. What do you mean too? Wait, it's about Andrew. They uh, told you about him. It's a really nice place. Best bud I ever had, known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Yeah, Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I've thought about it a lot. Sounds like we should have anyway, pushed Mendez off the building. They don't know everything. Better that way. Yeah. Uh, we have to forget the dead. Absolutely not. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits. Even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am... Um... I need time to take all this in. You're welcome. Sure thing. Take care. I go around dispensing the most premium psychotherapy and physical therapy. You know what I mean. <laughs> Meredith thoughts. <laughs> Hello, officer. It's you. You talked to Barry. Can I throw this man off the he building? He finally decided to get his shit together. For crying out loud, Mendez. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. Jesus we'll fucking Christ, trying to have a conversation here. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Thank you. You don't have to pay me. I'm not actually a licensed therapist. Ooh, level up. I'm just joking. I'm a therapist whenever you need me, if that's the case. You are getting thrown off a building, I'm telling you right now, officer. Not by me. I'm just saying, like, conceptually. How do we get to our apartment? Is it not through here? Where the fuck do I go? Up the stairs? Upstairs, neighbor. That's right. I remember. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> ah, home sweet home. Door wide open. Brilliant. Okay, let's get that closed. Thank you. So, in the stash is all... The weapons have, like, a unique slot, I thought people were saying. Oh, um, maybe. Maybe not. Let's put some stuff away, see what happens. Um, this is in my inventory, right? So, if we put, like, Jackie's guns away, maybe that counts? Oh, that one's equipped, right? We can't, we can't drop that. Maybe it's also, like, a quest item? Very odd. Okay, let's do that. Let's see if anything changes. Uh, oh, it did, look. Oh, interesting. That must be like Jackie's gonna want the katana. Right, so not every iconic weapon has a place then, right? Uh, maybe it does. No, maybe not. Because we, we picked up that enormous sniper that doesn't seem to have slotted into anywhere. That's an interesting mechanic. A little confusing, I suppose, when not everything has a thing. It's a hard thing to keep up with, especially if you start and don't actually, don't actually finish it. People were saying, if you go to sleep, you get more experience. So I guess we're having a little nappy bye-bye while we're here. Ah, home sweet home. Haven't been here for four weeks. Um, sleep till noon? Seems like a pretty alright idea. God, even their waiting screen is so much nicer than every Bethesda game ever made. Sorry to keep comparing this to other Bethesda games. To uh, any Bethesda game, sorry, I should say. Not other. This wasn't made by Bethesda. You can tell. You know, because it's got, like, an actual good story element to it with people who feel like human beings and not uh, what a robot thinks a human being would say and sound like. Anyway, I'd store some stuff. 
Uh, open stash. Yeah, I'm just gonna like bin all this stuff in here and I'll sort sort it out in between episodes, okay? I'm under- I, I totally am understanding now that I've just stored a bunch of stuff we actually had equipped. So let me, um, <laughs> let me go ahead and take that immediately right back out then, eh? Uh, what was that? What did I have? Ooh, look at that thing. That thing's sick. It's a shame it's the totally the wrong type. Does that mean I've got it equipped? Why is that outline like that? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Here, hold this. I'll just, you know, just take it all. I'll sort this out between episodes, okay? Don't you worry. Don't you panic. I'm just going to clear this out now because it's the quickest way to go about it. And then we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. There you are. Okay. Um, clothes, if that's all right. Filters. How do I... I have absolutely no idea how to filter that from there. Maybe you can't. Okay. Let's go fashion, Ollie. Look it up. What have we got that we can wear on our head then? Have we got anything that gives stats? Um, well, the, this is obviously cosmetic, so probably probably not, huh? Can we wear any of this with the fancy mask? What about like this thing? That'd be a cool combo. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. What about this red one, though? Ooh. Oh, that kind of matches the jacket a bit better, too. Hello. Okay, it's a bit bizarre. It's a bit, I admit, I admit it's a bit strange. Okay, corporate armor, blessed, ble, blessed plate, breastplate is what I meant to say. Okay, okay, I like it. Um, <laughs> and then we slap on one of those. No, uh, do any of these work? Not really. Do I still have Yorinobu shirt? Oh, I do. Okay, that seems good. That's like a nice flex. I like that one a lot. And then, uh, let's throw on that. Just get a little bit, a little bit of matching gear. We've got to think about the fashion, honey. Look it up. Let's go for. Let's go back to this one. Yeah, yeah, that goes well. And then those shoes. I hate the fact that you don't wear fucking socks. You're a monster. Big boots. Big boots seem like they would be very inconvenient for doing all of his um, doing all of his his free running and his parkour. Have you got like um? I guess those like trainers would make more sense. That looks better. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. Really, I should be equipping that like as. Headwear and whatnot. God, I've really screwed this up. Hold on, we're gonna have to go back into the stash and take some stuff out here. So I want to get that equipped because that's got stats. Want to get that equipped because that's got stats. If that's got stats, there's no need to really fuck around with it, right? And that's all that's in there for clothing, huh? What else have we not got here? We've got head, outer torso, inner torso stats. Can you even get stuff with stats on the inner torso? Maybe, but I sure as hell don't seem to have any. All right, maybe that's good enough then. Ooh, I like that one. Never mind. Okay, let's slap those on. Because they do give a uh, not insignificant amount of um, of armor bonuses. 25 armor. That's actually, like, pretty good. There you go. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's level up then. Before I forget. How close are we to... Technical ability. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit, we've got to go back to Vic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, Let's just buy it. Should we just buy all these cyberware effects or whatever? Uh, let's do it. Lots of new cyberware, slap your hands. Boom, just do it. Just fill it up. Who cares? Let's just go butt wild. Oh, this is sick. Uh, only affects tech weapons. Don't give a shit about that. What's this one here? It's not really charged up for all the health items. Ooh. Ooh, these aren't bad. Health items and grenades. Oh, okay, so those are actually kind of cool. Right. Let's go and have a look through and spend some of these perk points. Now that I've got everything I wanted... Health regenerate while sprinting. When do I not sprint? I'm using blood pump cyberware. Uh, or a health item. When using it, we get 100% mitigate. So that just keeps you like, you, you don't take any more damage while you're healing. God damn. Um, 35 max health. Oh, okay. Locks the adrenaline rush mode. Fuck it, we're in. Hey. And this is their base effects. Blood pump cyberware and health items now give adrenaline equal to 30% th of max health. It acts like extra health by absorbing damage, and it decays over time. So it's like temporary health, then fine. Um, when Adrenaline Rush is active, three seconds before Adrenaline Rush begins to kick in. What's this one? Ooh, only affects blunt weapons. Hello. Well. <laughs> when Adrenaline Rush is active, 20% movement speed, 10% damage. When Adrenaline Rush is active, gain immunity to movement speed penalties. When Adrenaline Rush is active, 20% health item retail. So all I've got to do is use a health item to trigger all of this. Which, to be honest, is what I'm going to be doing anyway. So that's totally fine. God damn, this feels like a pretty enormous series of upgrades we've just grabbed there. Holy shit. So hold on, what's our cyberware capacity now? We are up to 257, including all the red uh, edge runner stuff. We are so far off of maximum cyberware capacity, and I just need to get a shitload of shards then, huh? God damn, am I going to go back to Vic? I feel like we have to go back to a Ripperdock. Checking on Barry. Oh god, it's already time to check in on Barry. We did sleep. 
Barry, you fucking asshole! I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, did I fuck up? I'm so sorry. What happened? Did Mendez. I fuck up? It's too late. He can't hear you. Did Mendez go in there and fight him? Your jeans were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch world, I knew. Oh, I shouldn't have told Mendez that he was being a prick. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Barry. Oh, Jesus, have okay. I'm sorry. So is Barry dead? Uh, what happened? You want to move up in the world? To bury off himself and then they go in and found him. Oh, I messed up. I messed up, Chief. I really did fuck things up there. I thought I was doing the right thing. I was trying to do the right thing. And that really, you can't blame yourself for stuff like that, okay? That's only madness lies there. Okay, let's have a look for some main jobs. Oh, maybe I'll go back to a ripper dog. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck it, let's do it. All right, go on then. Um, back to the entrance, I suppose. Is there a fast travel point outside the apartment? I, I, something just reminded me that I think someone has said that at some point. But I really have no idea. Dude! I'd like to follow my instincts. Have you got any more cyberware for me for fighting? There isn't a lot of that. I'm kind of surprised. I guess because like another, it's it's maybe one of the most boring ways to play. I'm not sure. It's the only way I've played, so I absolutely can't comment on that. Let's be honest. All of you play maximum shinobi skill with a katana. Let's be reasonable here. So, so don't don't bullshit me by pretending that like this is the worst way to play. You're all exactly the same, and you know it. Give me whatever the fuck that was. Give me that. You're all so terribly predictable. Oh, I am a stealthy shinobi. No one will harm me and my corporate overlords in Arasaka. Shut the fuck up. You know who you are. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure who I'm calling out there. But you know who I'm calling out. Go see Vic. I'm getting stronger. Uh, now I'm angry for no reason. Vic, don't ask, but I suddenly re remembered I could fit a lot more. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. Some uh, much more stuff in my head. Oh my god, there was a text from Meredith Stout. She did follow up on it. So it wasn't just a lazy fuck in a motel. Very good. Uh, smart targeting, smart weapons, reloading, and whatever. Ricochet chance, power weapons, empty, reload an empty weapon. Was 20% recoil. Throwable weapons, shock absorber. Ooh, I guess we'll just buy smart link. Oh, that one counts as a smart link. Okay. But this one's like way better, so I'm just gonna I'll just swap them out, whatever. We've got to there, there was a perk that we had we got a benefit for filling all slots, right? Reloading an empty weapon releases an electric shock. Power weapons. Reload <sighs> minus twenty percent recoil. Is that necessary when we've got is that real? I'm just going to throw in this one because it's only two cyberware capacities. We might be able to install something else cool. We need something else in the nervous system. So, we've got the Karenzikov. Allows you to aim and perform range attacks while sighting dashing. Uh, that's not necessary. Successful takedowns, grant movement speed, and headshot. That's a bit pointless. Slows time for 60 seconds when the health drops on. If that could be good. Crit chance with bladed weapons. Slows time by 50% when enemy detection reaches 50%. Okay. Further you after your enemy increases movement speed detected by combat. All right, let's go for the reflex tuner then. I am now loaded to the brim with cybernetics. Look at me, <laughs> monstrous man. There were some pretty nuts unlocks in this section that I wanted to take a look at here. Jesus, look at that one. We could actually equip that, and that's another ninety fucking armor. Jesus. Okay. Um. Plus 12% armor, and then plus 90 armor on top of that. Oh, does it just give 12% armor, which is 90? No, because that doesn't add up. Unless it's rounding very, very generously. Okay, what does this one do then? So if I replace, like, the titanium bones, which just gives carry capacity and a little bit of health. Swap those out for Parabellum. It's 188. Fucking hell. Boom. Okay, we could go a little bit further because we've got the cyberware capacity. The question is, what would I swap out? Honestly, what I kind of want then is uh, maybe like a health booster. Was there not one that gave, uh, that, that like counted as a health item? So it heals you with your heal thing. Blood pump functions as a powerful health item. Yeah. 
Seven percent health when you neutralize an enemy. Twenty-five percent, twenty-three percent stamina when you use melee weapon to neutralize an enemy, or twenty-three percent melee attack speed. Ooh, what if I upgrade that one? Twenty-four percent melee attack speed. Nah, you good. Um, that one gives poison enemies things. Second heart. That's kind of fun. Um, maybe we go for then for the I don't know for the blood pump, and I would probably swap out the heal on kill. So let's 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 do that. Let's take that one away. No, no, no. Take that one away. Throw in the blood pump, Vic. Thank you. God damn. How do you max out your cyberware capacity? Because we've already got, like, full body. I don't, I don't get it. Now, didn't we also unlock something for, for this? Shock and awe. Maybe it was that? I don't remember. Pain do, sir? Oh, my God. Converts 30% of damage taken into damage over time. But it also gives 100 and 24 armor, depending on what we swap out. <laughs> Fuck me. Because <laughs> an enemy is less damage than the deals. Okay, far enough. 7% chance to block an incoming projectile, but if we dash, we get the benefit. The armor is just armor, so let's get rid of the subdermal armor, because that's kind of crap, right? And if there's anything else like that that's like crap and old, we just get rid of it. Please let me know, because there's so much to think about here. 32% armor effectiveness to attack from the side or rear. Paint. Oh, that seems so nuts. 30% of damage taken into damage over time is good. Because then we can probably just out-heal it with the blood pump or the regular healing items, right? Jesus Christ. That gives that, that one only gives 28 a proxy shield. <sighs> and to be fair, if I'm punching an enemy, they're probably not dealing that much damage. You know what I mean? So maybe if I could swap out the proxy armor for something. We got anything in here we can sell? No, anything in here we can sell. We can sell the bones. Vic, buy my bones, please. Frontal cortex, we've got nothing. Circulatory system, we can sell something for sure. Heal on kill, there you go. Right, I don't know if that's enough to actually be able to buy anything. Nah, that's a shame. Okay, um, can I sell Vic anything? No, because I put my stuff away. Honestly, I'm good with that. That's another 255k we've just spent on Vic. We've dropped like, like, what, 500,000 at least today on cyberware. I think we're good. Ugh. I just got hit by a car and took like 5% of my max health as damage. Uh. So I think we're doing alright here. Okay, I need to go fight something. Because this has been a lot of pissing around at menus and, you know, talking to people. Which is fine, but I'm here to murder and to kill. So let's get out there. Oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> it comes from a place of uh, genuine... G genuine concern, okay? Because somebody was like, oh, you're saying Arasaka wrong. It's not Arasaka, it's Arasaka. It's Japanese. It's not an R, is it? It's just the closest approximate letter we've got. Let's not get into language this chat, okay? It just makes me very angry. Speaking of which, hello, how you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, sorry, that was almost a civilian I took out there automatically. Did we just kill that man in a single punch? Oh no, he's a, he's a finisher. Look at how little damage. Look at how little damage we take. Oh. Glorious purpose. Hello, how you doing? Very nice shotgun. <laughs> shoot me all you like. Go on, shoot me again. <laughs> Boil and die. I know these are like the baby enemies, okay? I shouldn't really be celebrating the fact that we can take on baby enemies. Oh, Regina Jones, hey, hello. V, got a friend in need. Wants to snatch back an eye he lost playing cards. I an implant, I mean. Yeah, I understand that. Should yeah. be some easy breezy eds. You in? Catch the deets attached. Okay. Is that the job we were going to? Oh, maybe it actually was. Yeah, I think it actually was. Okay. Uh, here we are. Hello, I'm here to take what back an eyeball there? from someone. Ever try that? How are you doing? Are you the... Find, find the implant. Okay, let's have a scan around then. See what we can... You got the implant? One to four. Distribution of military grade pharmaceuticals. Ooh, look at that. Combat stim, light subdermal armor, EMP grenades. EMP grenades, masking ink, masking ink. Okay. Well. I guess I'll, um... I guess I'll just start swinging. This guy I might want to go behind and, and crack his neck. How you doing? Let me go. Okay, let's just let's just go for it. That guy had the big thing over his head, so I wasn't taking any risks here. 
<laughs> How you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us here. Oh, she looks spooky. How many? Oh, I forgot I swapped into the Sand Devastan. I was like, how many swings can I get in while we're in Berserk mode? Wait, did I swap into the... I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> I can barely keep up. There were so many upgrades today. Right. Let's see if we can find this bloody thing then. It's got to be out the back, right? What have you got for me? That's not an implant. Hello there. Oh, there's more people to fight out there. Wow, would you look at that? Okay. Subware ready. Reflex tuner. Thank you. So what? what is my... Oh, so it just upgrades the healing item you've got. Oh, interesting. Right, see, I was looking for the button that would... I was looking for the item that would bloody give us some sort of... Oh, there we are. Jacob Lamb's eye. That would give us the extra heal. I didn't realize it replaced our other healing item. That makes sense, of course. But I thought it would be like in addition to it. Anyway. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> it's so good. And what's going on here? Why is why is like time slow? I've forgotten everything that we've upgraded, by the way. Was that because of the because I didn't I didn't slow time then. That just slowed time for me when we entered combat. So bizarre. Let's try it again. Oh! And then it goes on cooldown. Hang on, when that's off of cooldown, let's test it again. It's gonna be so difficult to remember all the shit that we've upgraded doing it in one big go like that. Jesus. No, you know what? That was adrenaline mode? Oh yeah, this is powerful. We get we get a time slowing effect just for using the slam ability. Jesus, so that's the reflex tuner then, huh? Bloody hell, this is nuts. We've got to wrap fights up fast, but if we do, we're practically untouchable, huh? Oh, this is good. I feel like this was some good upgrades today. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry it was a bit of a throwaway episode because it was a lot of just pissing around with cyberware. But I think it's um, I think it's worked well. Suffice to say, I think we're like in a pretty, a pretty good place, huh? What I want is some like big fight now. So I guess we'll go do some main quest stuff at long last. Let's wrap up this gig. And then next episode we'll just jump in. We'll just jump in and we'll go all in on the. Whatever the next main quest, or whatever the closest main quest is. Because I think we've got, like, a few different routes we can go down at this point, huh? Let's go ahead and drop that quest item off. Boom. So, all the gigs are just this as well. So, this could be, be again, another thing that maybe we, um... Oh, it's, well, sorry. I meant to press the other one. There you go. All of the gigs are just like this as well, aren't they? Like, the other thing we got where we got the acid. So, I again, this is, like, something I could potentially do in between Jacob episodes. Because they're not... So, I'm closing this gig, but me... We both know that wasn't top quality work. What do you mean? Maybe try a little harder next time, okay? Get closed. And thanks. That was smooth. Oh, whatever. Fuck you, Regina. Get off my... Get out. Free the lineup. Okay, so we got. We can't just go in all, all guns blazing. All fists blazing. I get it. I understand, okay? Let's... Don't rub me. Leave it there. <laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow. Let's stick to the main quest for a little while.